setting up and using Easy Pal Light. Easy Pal Light is a amateur radio digital imaging processing program for HF radio. Here's how you use Easy Pal Light. Go to the icon, click on it, and the program will come up. Take a moment, especially if your computer's slow, like mine. The areas of Easy Pal Light I will discuss. First area that we're going to do is setup. In order to set up your Easy Pal Light, you need to go to setup. Click on setup C slash S sound card, push to top. Go to call sign. Once you go to call sign, this screen will come up. Type in your call sign. Mine's in 7 LMB slant FC2. Click on OK. Or type in your call sign, which would be best. Next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go back up to setup again. And you're going to go to the same area. Setup C forward slash S sound card. Click on sound card. And this window will come up. Select your computer sound card and then assign both for the receive and the transmit. Okay, next area that you're going to go to, after you click assign, is back to setup. Go to setup, C forward slash S, and click on the COM ports. And this screen will come up. Okay, pick your COM port that you're using. Make sure that RTS on, DTR on for the transmit is selected. And then in the receive area, make sure that RTS, DTR off always is checked. And then click on OK. And you will hear your thing. Okay. Now that we've got the call sign, the sound card, and the COM port set, the next area that we're going to adjust is the sound for the audio. And that, you would look in this area right here, and you're going to turn the volume up on your radio to where it comes up pretty much all green. Okay, the next area that we're going to look at is the area of the screen, which is the most important part for receiving and transmitting your information. Now, in this area, you see above the receive bar, you'll see a, the word call sign. Now, when you're receiving your audio from another station, it will change to his call sign if every bar in the sync area this area right here turns green. Once it gets up to the MSC area right there, his call sign will then appear where the call sign label is at this time. And also the receive area will turn a bright green. And the S and R, this area right here, should illuminate and show you how many dBs he is. Okay? The next area that we got to work on is the waterfall. Now the waterfall is very unique. Not like PSK31 or RTTY or Olivia. This area you can actually receive pictures in. You can send text in. And it also helps you tune your VFO to receive the pictures of the transmitting station. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Now, it's essential when the receiving station, being you, is receiving an audio on 14.233 that these bars right here have a tail coming down from it. 
All three tails should be on these marks. Doesn't have to always be exact, but if it's very close, it should be able to eliminate the sink area where the MFC light comes up or the icon turns green. Okay? Now, when you want a receiving station to be on your area of the mark, you will transmit a tune. And that is done by clicking on tune. And it's going to key the radio. And it's going to send that tone to the receiving station and he'll align his VFO so that all three marks are on his screen waterfall. Okay? Next area that we're going to go to is the load pick area. So you go here and you click on load pick and this screen will come up. And you pick the directory where your pictures are and I already got mine set to my pictures. And I'm going to pick on a picture, and we'll pick on this picture. When you click on it, it will automatically load the picture, and here's what it looks like. And now you're ready to transmit. So we'll go back over here to this area. Zoom in. And we identify with your radio. And 7L and B going digital. Click on transmit. Next area that you're going to look at is this area. This area will turn red and it will show you how many of the data is being transmitted right now. It says 27, 28, 30, 32. And it will go through that cycle until the picture is transmitted. It gets done to 245. The red bar is going to disappear but it's going to reappear right after it gets done to its fullest extent and then it will transmit just an extra lead out is what we call it. And it's done. And we just transmitted a picture over HF radio. The receive aspect will be shown to you in just a moment. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed 